Okay, hello everyone. I've been talking for 10 minutes and it was not recording. So we are going to start all over again. And it looks like I won't have Olympia for this video, but know that she's at the back door watching the birds in the backyard. I always put like bird seed out so Olympia can watch the birds at the uh, window. And I might go grab her to say goodbye when we leave. I need to talk to you about a magnificent book. This is a truly great book from the wonderful Alice Hoffman, who is one of the greatest writers working today. All of you are familiar with Alice. You've probably read, uh, you know, Incantations, uh, The Museum of Extraordinary Things, Practical Magic, um, you know, many, many, many books. Uh, that Hoffman has written over about a 40-year career. Uh, and uh, I actually won this book. She was having a drawing on her, I forget if this was Twitter, on her social media. And I won this signed book. And I will say, Alice, very nice of you uh, to send me this signed book. And uh, I think maybe, if you weren't such a great author, I would say maybe go into medicine so you could write prescriptions. <laughs> You know, but deeply grateful. Um, this book is a masterpiece. I believe this book is a masterpiece. That is not a word, as you know, that I throw around very lightly or very often. Uh, but it is. Let's call it what it is. This and the Dove Keepers are uh, Hoffman's more recent masterpieces. Uh, and... I, I have to do a video, a uh, short video, to talk about this book. It's set during World War II in Europe, primarily Germany and France, during the, the years of the Holocaust. Um, there is a stable of very diverse characters, older characters, younger characters. I would say the focus is more on the younger adolescent characters who go through it's incredible life changes, of course, through the years of the, uh, the early and mid-1940s uh, as they flee the Nazis, as they try to save each other, save themselves. But, I mean, we have a professor's family. Uh, we have a doctor. Uh, we have people, some people might refer to as peasants. We have a rabbi. Uh, primarily, I would think the the main characters even though there's there's male use uh in the work in the book uh in particular uh some brothers who uh figure prominently uh i would say mainly the book is it focuses on the young female characters uh one who uh is fleeing from germany and her mother her mother Al alice hoffman quite often involves magical realism in her books. And if you've read her, you know that. Uh, and she does it magnificently. And uh, there is, uh, to protect one of the young girls who is fleeing for her life, um, uh, a golem is created uh, to protect her along her journey. The subversive part is that the golem ends up being created by the rabbi's daughter. The rabbi refuses uh, to make the golem. And um, the rabbi's daughter, who knows the dispels, the incantations, the, the secret words that need to be used to create the golem, they end up making a female golem. So in that respect, you've got two subversive acts uh, right there. And this uh, female golem, uh, Ava, her name is Ava, uh, is, figures very prominently in the book as well. Um, we have various characters, as I said, primarily the younger characters uh, as they move uh, uh, along the book and as the war progresses, as the uh, Holocaust progresses, uh, you know, they're in flight. Uh, some people make it, some characters do not make it, uh, you know, just as in real life. There are this is the second book this year that actually made me weep. I wept, I think, three times at this book. Um, earlier this year, I read Sigrid Nunes' The Friend, uh, and that book made me weep. 
uh, especially at the end, which I kind of knew it was coming, and sure enough. This book, I wept three times. Uh, one time was when uh, two sisters are fleeing a train that's taking them to the camps. They know they've got to go, f you know, they know they're doomed, so they're going to try to escape. One of the sisters does not make it. Uh, and that is a real tearjerker. Um, there is another scene. I've made some notes here. I'm trying. There's so many things I wanted to say about this book, and I wanted to say it uh, quickly. There is a scene where this professor and his wife, who was certain people during the Holocaust who thought that somehow the Holocaust would not touch them, even though they were Jewish even though they were very intelligent and aware people, they somehow thought that it would not quite, you know, land in their front yard. Um, uh, Giorgio Bassani's The Garden of the Fincy Contini, which I've also talked about, and I'll try to link a video to a video I did several years ago about that book and movie, uh, is touches on this thing. But the family, uh, the professor and his wife, have their, their life and their dreams and their illusions shattered. And uh, as they're being rounded up by the Nazis to go to the camps, uh, they arrange for their young adolescent son to escape. And that scene is just so powerful and so incredible. You know, I think unless you're stoned, you weep. You know, they basically sacrifice themselves so their son can live. Uh, also, there is a scene where a nun who is... Um, she was born Jewish, but she's um, conversion, converted to a nun, and she's a mother superior. She knows that her time is up, and she's hiding some Jewish children. And when she knows that um, they've been found out and that the authorities are coming, uh, she arranges for the children to escape and waits, you know, to be arrested. And the accusations about her Jewish background are, are read to her as she's being arrested and you know she makes a huge sacrifice uh, to save these children and that's a that was a big one <laughs> that was a big uh, weeper for me as well and she's like yes these things they're saying these insults they're hurling at me are my life they're who I am you know it's quite moving and also, um, let's see, what was the other scene? Um, the ending uh, is quite moving, where the fate of the golem uh, is determined, is incredibly moving. Um, this book is, is, is magnificent. Uh, Alice Hoffman is a great writer, one of our greatest writers. Uh, I happily won, as I said, I, I won this book in a contest, and I'm so grateful to you, Alice, uh, for sending me a signed book. I'm a huge Alice Hoffman fan. Going back, dec going back decades, I've talked about her in my videos before. Uh, and so, do not miss this book. Alice Hoffman, The World That We Knew, get it. However you have to read this, I mean, hopefully you'll go to Amazon right now and order it buy it, uh, get it from the library, whatever. Read this book. It's fantastic. Do not miss this one. So, that is Olympia. Are you going to come say goodbye? Just, no, I don't think so. So, a video without Olympia. I'm so sad. Well, anyway, nice to see you guys again. I hope everyone's doing well in Tennessee. It's a very pretty sunny day today, even though it's kind of cool outside. I think I'm going to the library this afternoon. Uh, hopefully I'll be back with a uh, another uh, video soon. I've got several fascinating books that I'm reading that I'm interested in sharing my thoughts on. So, Alice Hoffman, fantastic book, The World That We Knew. Do not miss it. Read this book. Take my word for it. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Everybody take care, and I'll talk to you again soon.